Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Fix, and welcome back to the channel. So today I decided to create this light rays effect using Adobe After Effects CC 2020. I finally got a major upgrade in my hardware and software, so now I'm able to do real-time editing and visual effects scenes. And on top of that, I'll be also using Effects Console created by Video Copilot. I'll leave a link for where you could download the uh, plugin. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoy that. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new comp. So I've got some footage here that I took myself. So I'm just going to drag and drop into a new comp here. And what I want to do is create a new solid and hit OK and we're going to label this as uh, main tree mat and what I want to do is grab the pen tool and just draw a mask around this tree area so just come over here just draw a nice rough mask around this tree and do this for the entire scene here. So I'm just going to do this really quickly. So just give me a minute. All right, so once you've got your mask, hit F and feather out maybe five pixels. That seems a decent amount. And what do you want to do now is hit M hit the stopwatch and move forward and just animate this mask. So just come up here, maybe move some points and just move it along here. So I'm just going to do this quickly and give me a minute. Okay, so I animated this and I also added another mat on this trunk here. So as you can see, it's like that. And what I want to do is firstly, I'm just going to cut this at the six second mark here. So N trim comp to work area. And then I'm going to pre-compose each layer. So pre-compose and we'll call this main tree. Move all attributes, hit OK. Same goes for this one. Uh, I'll call this branch. Move all attributes, hit Okay, all right. So next thing we have to do is create our light rays for our comp here. So we're gonna make a new solid and we'll make it black and we'll call this light ray. And we'll come over here, we'll type in fractal noise. Let's make it dynamic progressive and just give it a little bit of contrast and darken it a bit. And let's uncheck uniform scaling. Stretch this out to maybe 120, shrink it to maybe 60. Okay, and we'll just add in a solid composite. Make this black. And we'll add in CC radial blur. And we'll change it to fading zoom and we'll crank this up to maybe about 175 and we'll increase the quality about 75. All right, and we'll just add a curves adjustment, just give this a little contrast, and we can just add a fast box blur one pixel. Repeat X pixels and one iterations. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And set the transfer mode to screen. All right, let's just position this up here. All right, so the next thing we have to do is create like a null object that will control the radial blur. So we can go into layer, new uh, null object. We'll call this point, 
And what I'm going to do is copy an expression onto this uh, null object. Oh, no, sorry, onto the radial blur. So if we just go into the radial blur, Alt click the stopwatch for the center, and just copy and paste the expression. The expression will be up on the description, so don't worry about that. All right, so now that we've got that in, change this to a 3D layer, and check this out. We can now control the direction for the radial blur. All right, so let's just leave it up here. And I want to create some light rays for only behind the trees. So what I'm going to do is create a new solid, make white, and we'll call this tree mat. Okay, and we'll put this below the point. Let's add the set mat effect. And let's choose our main tree and we'll invert it. And let's duplicate that, choose our branch. And what we're going to do now is set the track mat to alpha mat. Now the light rays only hit behind the tree. So that's looking really good. All right, so now we just want a little bit of light rays hitting on these trees, but it's just a subtle effect. So I'm going to duplicate the light ray. And we'll change this back to no track mat. And what I'm going to do is set another set mat effect. And this time we'll choose the main tree. And if we solo this, so we can see what's happening here. And just hit T and just decrease the opacity. So maybe about uh, 30%, maybe 35. And we can come over here to the transform settings. Let me just squeeze this in, maybe about 45, like that. And the curves, maybe just give it a little bit of a contrast, like that. We still have some light rays hitting on top as well, but just as subtle. Maybe we'll change this back to 30. And we'll do the same for this tree here. So control D. And we'll set the set mat to branch. And we'll just maybe adjust the contrast here. And maybe for this one as well. Like that. So maybe about 220. Alrighty. Okay, and just hit T and maybe decrease it to about 25. All right, cool. And while we're at it, maybe we just make this yellow and make these two uh, pink. Okay, so next thing we have to do is create a flare for this comp. So control Y again, make it black, and call this flare. And I'm gonna get optical flares and hit options. Now the preset that I used was Sun Digital and I'm just gonna hide this multi iris. I'm gonna give it a lens texture, maybe 30. Okay. And we'll set this to screen. And we'll place it up here. Maybe we'll scale it down to maybe 65 and turn the brightness down to about 90, like that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our atmosphere effects. So let's just go over here, drop in this atmosphere, and I'm just gonna scale it up until it fits within our comp, around about there, maybe about 151. And I'm just going to time remap this, so time stretch. And we'll make it 150. And we'll just slide this over like that. And we'll duplicate it. And this time we'll flip it. 
and then just time this offset this time okay cool so let's add in some color correction so control alt y control alt y for adjustment layer and we'll name this as cc name this as vignette okay let's go ahead and add magic bulb looks and go into the edit and the preset that I used was Chrono Gold after browsing through so many of these so we just hit the tick and there we go now we can add our curves adjustment maybe give this a little bit of contrast here and I'll drop the tint to maybe about 30% so it looks like that I'll maybe I'll drop this to about B5 okay and what I can do is add a unsharp mask on top and just give this about this is up to 65 okay all right so I'll add a curves adjustment to my vignette so give it there just darken this and I'll double click double click the ellipse mask tool and I'll subtract that hit F I'll feather it out maybe about 300 pixels and just looks good and maybe for an adjustment I might add the curves effect on this as well so I'll just darken this a bit all right okay and then maybe for my light rays I'll sharpen this curves adjustment looks like that okay All right, so I'll do a RAM preview and see what we have. All right, let's check it out. Okay, not bad. One last thing we need to do is adjust our light rays and flare movements. So what I can do is hit P for our null object, hit the stopwatch, move forward, and try to keep it in a neutral position so somewhere about there at that point and just do this for the entire comp okay and you do the same for the optical flare so just come down here and hit start watch for position x y hit u and just track your um null object okay so once that's done we can do one final preview and see what we have all right, let's check it out. Okay, that looks better. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you can do your own adjustments if you like. You maybe can adjust the light rays, maybe the smoke elements. For instance, for this smoke elements, I added a bit of an alpha on top of the smoke, and same goes for the other smoke as well. So, thank you everyone. My name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.